Hello everyone, welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler. Man, Bill's and on top of it today. What's that? Bill's on top of it Yeah, today. he is, he is. <laughs> two, and two for two, that's why he gets the big money. All right, um, we're going to look at, we, we don't have a ton of stuff from preseason because it's so right. vanilla, yep. but there are a couple of things we saw in the preseason, and, and we wanted to start with this play from the New England game, Packers on offense, and... Um, Basically, they were in a three-receiver set. Jordy Nelson was still healthy. They had Devontae mm -hmm. Adams on the outside and Cobb here. And mm -hmm. this is an example of how they use Randall Cobb to Absolutely. play to his strengths, which is quickness in the short area. So nothing for nothing, James Starks goes out here and lines up here, and the safety comes here. Mm -hmm. So why don't you describe the action that is going to happen here? It's all, everything that's going to happen is mm -hmm. going to happen, right? Yes. Here. I think for the most part, uh, Aaron Rodgers' progression on this particular play, Bill, you can show the first cut. If, if you look at who you're trying to attack on this, it's two guys. Two corners. It's, you know, you want these guys to think, well, they're going to probably pick us. So most guys will be up, one guy will be up and bump, one guy will try to be off. Now, the good thing about this, we call it what we call an arrow route. So basically, Cobb will start flat and going, as you see, to the flat, and then right when the, the, the defensive back kind of opens up to kind of think he's getting picked, he'll try to go over the top. And then you just see Devontae Adams just go up and just push off right here. And right when he does, he, he, the cornerback opens his hips, mm -hmm. you can see Cobb come out and make a sharp move right there. Now, this ball has to come out on time time because you're working this guy too. Right. Because you want to come out and look to your number one receiver who was wide open too, as well. They ran the same thing on both sides. But as Starks came up, you know, Jordy Nelson went outside. He was wide open. Yeah. The back backer took one little step, and he made a beeline throw right there. You could see, the, you can see that hard cut by Cobb right there. Yes, he's and, wide open. And, you know, Rodgers is looking right at him. He knows that's going to be yep. open because it's man-to-man. -man. And then in the next one, you'll see, there it is. There it's, it is. He's running, and the corner is trying to recover. And him. if he's late oh. on that throw, it's going to be a headache. Because that linebacker will shoot over there to make that tackle. But, again, when you got an experienced quarterback, just look off for a second. But that's a quick throw between the safety and the linebacker. Now, I'm going to say tell you that I think this was the play that um, – that failed against Seattle, Seattle on the goal line. Mm -hmm. uh, Adams didn't push up far yes. enough, yep. and Cobb yep. got tackled on the three-yard line, and that yep. should have been an easy touchdown. If you watch the tape of that, you'll see McCarthy look up at the, at the board and just right. cuss out loud. And, and, but here you saw why it should work like that. Yeah, so absolutely. We, I expect to see that, but from different positions on the field. Yes, we'll see it. absolutely. It's a quick strike. Matter of fact, New England runs the same play with, with Edelman. You put a guy in the slot, and you got that cornerback guessing, Tom. You know, do I go over the top? Right. Do I go underneath? What, what happens if they off. zone it? What happens if these two guys zone it? So he just stays here and waits for, you know, Cobb to come back, and he waits The reason for why they call it an arrow route, if they zone it, Cobb has the option of zigging it, coming in and coming back out and creating space right here. He'll still be open right there. Okay. He just won't be open in here because that linebacker will stay inside. So that's why we call it an arrow route. You come here and you get a two-way go based on his technique. And it's a, if he can make that throw, it's going to be a big play. Okay, good. Next we'll look at a play from the Bears preseason. Okay, so this is a play from the Bears preseason game against mm -hmm. Indianapolis. And the reason we're showing this, we should have put him in red, but Martellus Bennett yes. is, is their go-to guy. He's, He's guy. really going to be a guy the Packers are going to have to. Just like uh, Julian Thomas was when he was with uh, Denver. Exactly. Same way. Yeah. Exactly. So you have this interesting formation here where they're kind of stacked next to each other. you got yep. Elshon Dreffery and you got Martellus Bennett. So I think you can see it up here in the formation there. And that's yep. how you have it set, similar to what we were seeing with Cobb and Devontae Adams. Yep. But why don't you talk about what the possibilities no are that could happen And here. normally on these big splits, you would think they're going to run a draw. You know, because they're wide and these splits sure. are huge. But it's so much that, that can happen. They can run like a, a screen where they just, Alshon steps back and 
Martell is just a lead blocker, and I think that's what the guys on defense were thinking. Or they can do a lot of things to where they can, these guys can block and they can throw a swing pass out to Forte. There's so many things they can do. But to me, I think they were looking for matchups, and they got the matchup they wanted. They got a big 6'5 tight end on a smaller defender. A, lo now, a slower, smaller yeah, defender absolutely. than a linebacker. And most guys are not going to try to cover him one-on-one -on -one anyway. But this safety, Tom, he kind of rotated. If you go to the second pitcher, Bill, you'll see the defense start to try to rotate and try to figure out what's going on. And if you look at Jay Cutler's eye, he knows right now where he wants to go. There's the matchup. So there's no looking off here. Yeah, there's Bennett, the matchup. Bennett gets the. You can see he's got he's got a, a nice inside release on this guy. Yep. And he, that guy's toast. Yeah. So once he comes up and engages him, he comes right down the field, right in this little soft spot, right there in the middle. Right. And these guys are gone. So you're thinking, if you can hit that a quick strike right there, you got the matchup you want. That's a huge play for a target. It's such been just such a big guy. Now let's talk about what the other possibilities were here. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you could see, and we've seen this with Bears in previous years, yes. is get the ball out to all yep, They can just stand up and, and throw it out. He's he's a big, tall guy as well, and make a shorter guy like Casey Hayward make those guys tackle. Do one of those little bubble screens, right? Absolutely. And he, he runs interference, and mm -hmm. Jeffrey comes right up like and that, And then you, right? you would pull one of your guards to go out there, I mean, in the center. Right. There's a lot of possibilities when you spread guys out like that. Yeah. So the Packers got to be smart, Tom. Don't take the bait for this. Get in those gaps, shoot those gaps, and cut off these lanes. Because other, if they don't get this big play down, they can always go to these screens at any time. Actually, on either side. The Packers' big decision is who do they put out here? Who do they, do they put, put Clay there? Matthews out yeah. here to cover Bennett? Some oh, kind of way, maybe. that'll be that. Some kind of way, that's going to be Micah Hyde. It's his game to win or lose when it comes to '83. He's going to follow him all over, and now you got to get Clay Matthews doing what he does best, right. going after the quarterback. Yeah, right. You don't want him out there, any of your outside linebackers trying to cover '83. Good point. That would be Michael Hyde. Good point. Yeah. yeah. So that means they'll have to use their safeties to their. They have to use their way. safety. Yep. Maybe they'll even use a three safety set if they go double tight end. And that's a possibility yeah. because then you can rotate Richardson in there. You can play extra safety at times, or you can just put Ha Ha Clint Dix in the box and just line up. There. Yeah, and one of the the great things about Hyde is if you can play the nickel and he mm -hmm. sort of doubles as a safety and a corner. Absolutely. So in this case, he's the nickel back, but mm -hmm. he can still cover. And remember, he got an interception in Green Bay. He got an interception, but the first time in Chicago, Martellus Bennett had his way with the Packers secondary. So, you know, they're going to understand that what's happening. If you go back again, look at the Denver tapes, how they want to get the ball to Julian Thomas, they're going to use Bennett the same way. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for joining us, and we will see you after the Bears game next week.